So are you considering your next timeshare stay here at Marriott's Ocean Point on Singer Island in Florida? Well, stick around. I'm gonna talk about what we liked, what we didn't. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. And before we get started, talking about the seven things that we liked and also seven that we didn't here at Marriott's Ocean Point. I just want to let you know on this channel, I like to share some of my best tips, strategies, and advice on how to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, be sure to hit subscribe down below. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. So before we get started here, you may actually notice something. I have a new Marriott Vacation Club cap. And if you want to see my rant about the, uh, the resort caps that they now have for sale here at the resorts, check out this video right up here. So <laughs> I'm not happy with having to buy this cap. $32 plus tax. But anyway, seems like a pretty comfortable cap, not too bad. But let's jump into this video, the seven things we liked and what we didn't here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our likes and number one here is going to be just the villa decor. The villas seem like they've been recently remodeled and they're actually kind of on a constant remodel phase here with five buildings where they're constantly remodeling a villa in some way, shape or form. But we really love the decor in these villas. Beautiful uh, upholstery, beautiful curtains, carpet, the couch, it actually looks pretty good. It's not quite as comfortable as it looks, but uh, still pretty good. So we really love the villa decor here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, and number two has to be the living room. The living room here in these villas is beautiful. Very large windows that kind of actually face out towards the ocean. And then if you're not in an oceanfront villa, obviously, the other ones kind of just face out to the parking lot. but. They're very tall, very large windows in the living room here that provides a huge amount of light into the villa. So that is definitely fantastic. We love the amount of light, natural light, that comes into the villas here, given the size of those windows in the villas and in the living room. All right, so for number three, I kind of had to move over here into the shade where I was sitting. It's extremely hot and uh, it's kind of unbearable. So that's kind of a dislike. It's, it's, it's hot, but it is Florida anyway. So number three though is the pools, the variety of pools that they have here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Each one kind of has its own vibe. They have the sailfish pool up in the main section here. It's very kid friendly. You'll see lots of families up there. It's very busy, of course, as well. They have two pools actually up there. Yeah, the sailfish pool is great. And then down here, well, kind of where I am right now is the copia pool. It's kind of more of a quiet pool, but not sure how accurate that really is. It's pretty busy out here. And then down at Kingfish, they actually have a small pool down there. A lot more kind of quiet vibe, a little bit slower down there. Not a whole lot of action going on. So if you want the action, come to the pools up here at Cobia and Sailfish. If you're looking for something a little bit quieter, check out Kingfish down the street. But yeah, the pools here at Marriott's Ocean Point are just fantastic. Each one with their own vibe, their own distinct kind of feel. Definitely one of the reasons we like coming to Ocean Point. Okay, so I'm out along the main road here to talk about our fourth like, number four, and that is that it just seems to be more walkable to more restaurants here than some other timeshares we've visited. So you have Ocean Walk just up the street. A lot of people go up there to Johnny Longboats for breakfast. And then there's Sailfish Marina, just a short walk over here to the Intracoastal Waterway. So definitely a good thing about Marriott's Ocean Point. There's a few more restaurants and a little bit more shopping, just a short walk away. Okay, so I'm inside here in the parking area to talk about number five, and that is that they actually have a fair bit of covered parking. Of course, it's not all covered parking. They do have quite a bit outdoors as well. So if you're early or just lucky, you might get a parking spot here under cover. We always usually like that. If there's any storms or it's just really hot, you want your car to stay cool, covered parking is perfect. Okay, so next up is number six, and usually I wouldn't actually call this out in one of our videos, but they have a huge amount of gas grills on property. I wouldn't usually call it because all resorts usually have gas grills, but this one seems to have a lot more than usual, something we really like. Every once in a while, we'll grill some steaks or grill some burgers 
while we're at a timeshare. So really love that about Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, so now we're down here at Kingfish. It's actually the building we're staying in. And if you want to see a video about what I think about Kingfish, check this one out right up here. But for the seventh thing that we really like about Marriott's Ocean Point is simply the hot tubs. The two hot tubs that are up at Sailfish and Cobia are huge. Definitely lots of room for lots of people, even in these times of social distancing. Now the hot tub down here at Kingfish is pretty disappointing, but those hot tubs up there are probably some of the best in the Marriott system that I have ever seen. They are fantastic. So we really do love the hot tubs here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, so we've made our way to the beach here at Marriott's Ocean Point. And we're going to talk about the dislikes that we have about this resort. It's not all great like those seven likes that we had. But before we get into those, just want to let you know, if you're liking this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, please be sure to share this video. It is by far the best way to get this video in front of more people to help them out and help them with their stays at Marriott's Ocean Point. So definitely appreciate it if you could like it and share it. So the first dislike we have simply has to do with the beach and the cost of beach chairs here at Marriott's Ocean Point. They actually use a vendor. There's a vendor on the beach here. I believe it has something to do with Palm Beach County or maybe even Palm Beach Shores. I'm not too sure. But Oceanside Beach Services, they service the beach here. They provide beach chairs and umbrella rentals. And it's kind of a ridiculous price. $60 for two chairs and an umbrella for the day. So not sure what they're thinking. You can actually save some money. I think you can get that as cheap as $45 if you run it for the whole week. But yeah, kind of disappointing the cost of beach chairs here. We've seen the much cheaper, obviously, free chairs up at Oceana Palms and chairs up at the Sauna Beach Club are much cheaper. Only 20 bucks for two chairs and an umbrella for the day. Okay, so our second dislike about Marriott's Ocean Point simply has to be how far of a walk it is from any of the buildings to the beach. You, uh, the buildings seem to be set back quite a ways and there's only a couple of beach walk entrances to the beach from the property. So you might have a bit of a walk from your villa and the building out to the beach. Quite a bit different from Oceana Palms up the beach here where literally you just go down the elevator through the lobby and out the doors through the pool area. The beach is right there. Much shorter walk it seems up at Oceana Palms here. Depending on which building you're in you might have quite a bit of a walk. So just kind of that walk to the beach. Just one of the things we're not too keen on here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay and uh, the third dislike you might have actually been seeing this in the background of some of these shots. If you're in Kingfish especially, or I guess anywhere along the beach here at Marriott's Ocean Point, you kind of have this ugly dredge that kind of keeps the inlet clear for all of that boat traffic that's going through behind me. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of an eyesore here at Marriott's Ocean Point. One of the disappointing things that uh, you kind of have to deal with, but you know, I guess it serves its purpose and uh, keeps that inlet clear for boat traffic but you know who wants to look at a dredge when you're at a beautiful beach here like they have in Palm Beach just a little disappointing but you know we learn to live with it for our stays but we're not keen on it okay so now I want to talk to you about this like number four I actually had to move away from the pool just because it's pretty noisy over there and uh, a lot of action going on so I had to move away from the pool talk about this one but the fourth one is for whatever reason they decide to strap together their pool loungers essentially they take two pool loungers push them as close together as they possibly can and put zip ties around them to hold them together that's not only a dislike it's downright annoying what ends up happening is you have two people to take up four chairs and in these times of social distancing when they've gotten rid of a lot of the uh, pool chairs anyway, it just kind of compounds the problem. I'm not sure what their logic behind this is. The only thing I can think of is that they think it's saving them time, either in the mornings or in the afternoons, evenings, to rearrange those chairs and kind of straighten them up so they look pretty for the next day, I guess. That's the only really logical reason I can think of. But I really kind of want to ask them, how much money are you really saving? And with the maintenance fees that people are paying here, should they have to deal with chairs that are strapped together 
I mean, they're super close. I mean, there's probably a lot of people you like, but you probably don't want to be sitting that close. Even if two people were to take those shares, they would normally pull them apart a few inches. So it just doesn't really seem to make sense. Two people are now essentially taking up four chairs, one on each side of maybe an umbrella, because there's two chairs trapped together on each side. So, I don't know. Anyway, that was dislike number four. One of the reasons, one of the annoying things about Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, so number five on our list of dislikes. <laughs> I talked about the covered parking earlier, but this is just the parking in general. It seems to be a really big challenge here, especially on weekends. This is a weekend, and the parking lot is pretty, it's pretty packed here. Something we've noticed on other trips as well. Just finding parking spaces seems to be a really big challenge. Something we definitely don't like about our stays at Marriott's Ocean Point. Okay, so we've jumped up here to our balcony to talk about number six, the sixth thing that we dislike about Marriott's Ocean Point on Singer Island here in Florida. And that is just simply the balconies. They are very small. You do get two of them, but the balconies are kind of disappointing. Most of the balconies are actually oceanside views. So in most cases, they have views of the parking lot. Now you do get a pretty good view of the Atlantic Ocean out there, but you also get great views of the parking lot out there as well. So that's just one of the things we really kind of dislike. They certainly do not compare in any way, shape or form to the balconies up at Marriott's Oceana Palms, just up the beach. So a dislike here is definitely these balconies. Okay, thankfully we are back in our villa where it's nice and cool and air conditioned because it was getting pretty hot out there. To talk about our seventh and final dislike of Marriott's Ocean Point, and that just has to be the kitchen. The kitchen here is pretty small, and uh, this microwave actually behind me here is extremely low, so when you're trying to cook on that stove, if you have a big kettle or a big pot, it's kind of difficult to cook on the stove. So there's also no formal pantry, and you kind of just have this countertop beside the refrigerator to kind of throw your groceries on. They do have a couple of uh, cupboards down below, but they're really narrow and really not good for much of anything. Just kind of one of the disappointing things, no pantry, small kitchen, and a really low microwave. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know why that's not up higher. It's not an accessible unit, so not sure why that microwave is so low. Okay, so here I am in the living room of our beautiful villa here. And I hope you like this video of the seven things that we like and seven that we didn't here at Marriott's Ocean Point. And if you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about timeshare, be sure to check out the description box below. And for another video about Marriott's Ocean Point, check out this one right up here. And YouTube, they think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.